Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? Hopefully you are all doing well. So today I have an unboxing video. A couple of years ago, geez how long ago was it? Let me think. About three years ago maybe? I picked up a box of Lizardmen Cold One Riders. Um, well they're not Lizardmen anymore, now they're called... I can't remember. Seraphon. That's it, I knew I'd get it eventually. Um, but I've had these for well, roughly about three years. I've had this box in my attic, never opened it, you know. But uh, thinking about it lately, and I've really got an itch to open them up and have a look at them. I'm trying to keep them in frame here. There we go. Um, they're an awesome kid. They have dinosaurs and giant lizards. What else could you ask for? Like, you know, <laughs> it's every child's dream. Um, so this it's a pretty I don't want to say old box but it's from 2009 I think around that um, so like the quality now was like exceptional but you know they're really nice looking so let's open the box and see what's in it okay so once you open the box obviously you get your kind of old square uh, rectangle bases um, there's eight models in the box if I hadn't mentioned that earlier and um, there's seven here because I've clipped on out and I've started working on it but they're all the same you get well there's two kind of sprues you get you get ones with the cold rider or the cold the cold ones <laughs> and then you get the other sprue with all your other bits on it so if you have a closer look at one of the cold one sprues here yeah so we can see uh, the bottom part is the body, the main portion. You have the back leg, the arms, and the neck. Um, and on the sprue itself, you can see here it says it's 2004. So this is a kit that's 12 years old. And to be honest with you, for 12 years old, it's still pretty nice looking. It still has that kind of big chunky feel to it, but it's not big and chunky. If you can kind of, if you can kind of understand what I'm saying a little bit. Um, but they're nice looking. The details are really good. The scales on them look nice. Um, you have this little terrain kind of piece here for a scenic base that he's stuck onto. Um, and then you have the other half of the body up here as well, full of detail. Scales, uh, lizardmen's uh, markings. Seraphon, I have to get used to keep saying Seraphon. Um, the tail here, the tail is a little bit short. I thought it would, it would be nicer if it's a little bit longer, but uh, it's pretty cool. And then of course the last two bits then are the head. The head comes in two parts. Um, lots of detail on them. Uh, it kind of has that old kind of shine on it like the old plastics did. Um, but it's pretty nice. The only kind of problem I had with the cold ones was the, the claws are a little bit chunky. You can see maybe it doesn't look as chunky on camera. But that one does. Let me see. Like this one here. The back claw here looks pretty big. From this angle it looks a bit chunky, but from this side it looks worse. Um, it looks like it's a piece of flash almost that you want to kind of clean up, but um, it's not. So um, that's the cold ones. Then we move on to the Seraphon models themselves. You get four sprues, and you get two identical ones, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah you do so if you have four sprues two identical now this one is this one here has your banner on it and I'm gonna zoom in too close because I'm gonna make a, an absolute ham of this going around um, but you have your banners you get your two banners you have kind of your snake one uh, serpent one and then you have your kind of metally looking one with the flames coming over kind of like a bigger serpent you get your Seraphon, I keep can't send. I keep thinking Sera, Seraphon weapons. Um, I'm not sure what weapons these are. Maybe they're not weapons. Maybe they're just like little banners. But you have your hand weapon here, and then you have your. You get two or one special head with two. It comes in two pieces. Um, with a head on it, it's really nice looking. Then you have your drums. Your two drum pieces for your musician. Um, other little bits here to add on then you get your shields and the shields are really nice looking because it keeps the detail in it it has a nice scale look on it and other little bits attached to it as well and then if you want to kit your 
call one riders out in spears to come with the arms attached here and um, onto the other sprue then this is the one this is the one it was kind of a little bit confusing putting it together because the bodies aren't the, the, the legs I think are attached to the cold one riders if I remember correctly or maybe they're not no they're not um, but anyway that's another that's a different video for another day when I'm putting the, all these together you have all your heads you get five options on one sprue um, they're really nice looking they have like that kind of angry snarly looking face um, and here's the bodies it kind of looks a little bit weird now and um, well not anything attached to it but they have the spikes on their back are pretty big they're pretty cool then you move up here to your cross combat weapons or your melee weapons uh, obviously you have your drumsticks for your musician you have the big club and the axe um, then you get these cool little serpent things to add onto your base make sure I'm in the frame here sponge good man uh, they're really nice looking you get four of these um, I don't know it would have been a little bit hard to fit these on with the smaller rectangular bases that you get with these but with the bigger oval ones that they use in the Age of Sigmar now it might be a bit easier and then finally you move, here we have the leg pieces this is why I got a bit confused there right? then when I seen them I remembered they're separate um, you have your leg and then the uh, seraphon <laughs> oh and then the Seraphon's um, tail and everything so that comes together on two separate pieces for each side so there is quite a bit in the kit um, the four big sprues are kind of like your normal sprues you get your weapons, your heads and your bodies you know uh, full of um, Seraphon bits and bobs but it's kind of cool seeing all these other little pieces like this so even if you just wanted the cold ones by themselves, the only thing you'd really have to do is maybe fill in the saddle gap here and you should be pretty much sorted then. So that's pretty much it then I think for this cold one riders unboxing. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick peek of what one looks together when it's all put up together. Because I was saving this for a separate video but I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, it goes together pretty handy the only tricky part is making sure all these body parts here for the seraphon guys stick together because it's all kind of bunched in there pretty close and obviously i have the oval bases now instead they look much better than the old rectangular ones so yeah so hopefully you guys like that unboxing um they were pretty cool uh, set to get you know as you've seen I have one of them put together they do look pretty badass once they're made up and um, where is that guy you know this is like he, he was a champion guy and um, I know it's a bit bright there on the light but you know they're giant lizards on giant dinosaurs on well, the giant dinosaurs they're on dinosaurs they're awesome you know I honestly do not know why you don't see enough lizard men stuff out there they're bright their colors are bright they're you can come up with awesome color schemes for them maybe maybe i need to get into more lizard men after this maybe let me know in the comment section below but hopefully you guys like this um over the next couple of weeks i will be doing more with this box i'll be building them i'm really looking forward to that and of course my phone rings and of course that was my dad but but make sure you guys uh, <laughs> start again start again so make sure you guys leave a comment below in the comment section below i love getting feedback it's the most important part of the video and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more seraphon I have to remember that seraphon 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 banjo remember seraphon anyway thanks for watching and i will see you guys next video